Uh, on that note, it's kind of cool that this is also historical fiction in a lot of ways. It's, mm. I mean, I don't know how accurate it is. Probably not at all, because I ride a bear. <laughs> Uh, but I think that it'd be really cool to see them kind of screw around and do like the fact that we've gotten this game, Far Cry Four, and Far Cry Blood Dragon, and those are the last yeah. three in the series. They're all totally different, bonkers. Yeah, that's yeah, super weird and out yep. there. And there's like been no attempt to try to be like, yeah, it was, we're just experimenting. Like, you know what? Screw it. I'm I'm totally down to see what the next Far Cry is. And I actually I'm, can't think of a lot of like AAA games that that sort of follow that same rubric of like every single time. Even the Call of Duty games are sort of. Uh, an evolution of themselves each time. You yeah, know? it's more like yeah. like the only example is like Mario or something like things yeah. that are like so dread. Like it's like you're in a castle, you're in space. Like it's like they're like yep. so completely different. Like this is a way bigger difference than like any Call of Duty yep. or yep. Assassin's. Yeah. Yeah. Or I mean, anything. this is Far Cry is arguably Ubisoft's like flagship shooter series, mm-hmm. and they took the guns away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like how insane is that? Yep. They're like, yeah, we're gonna go way back. World War II. Uh uh-uh. uh, yes. try <laughs> even <laughs> further. And then like I do like you can also like. They give you all melee weapons, but you have the option to light them all on fire and throw them all. Yeah. Like, it's just a really, like, design-wise, I think it's a really, it's a very smart, kind of weird game. And there is that sort of desperate moment of, like, I've shot ten arrows at this bear. It's running full speed at me. I'm going to light my club on fire and just throw it <laughs> and hope for the best. It, it's. I'm glad this is first, too. Yeah. I think it has the advantage of, like, there are several caveman games announced at this point because we have Wild and we have uh, Patrice Desolais' game. And there mm-hmm. are, like, yeah. multiple things, like, set in this universe. And I'm kind of glad this got to be first because it feels like it'll be the craziest of them. Yeah, or totally I would imagine. Great. I mean, like, Wild has crazy snake gods and stuff, too. Mm-hmm. But I would just imagine that, like, the other ones will be a little bit more grounded, whereas Far Cry is just, like, the do, do whatever you want. Yeah. So where do you guys want to see Far Cry go next? I have an idea for Far Cry. I think it's a tell real, us, it's Max. A real, real good idea for a Far Cry game. Don't tell us. We're done. It's a real good one. I'm kidding. What? You should tell us. You're, really, you're just mad because I think we're writing the exact same one in the Google Doc when you're planning this. <laughs> yep. uh, I think they should make a Far Cry game that's uh, based on what Americans think Australia is like. Oh, man. So you get on this island and there's just like clouds of spiders coming by and there's like a bunch of drunk guys smashing beer cans on their head. Yep. But then there's like a fire tornado. I yep. feel like two two months ago you pitched this game when insulting where Alana comes yeah, from. Yeah, when on Alana was on the show and I was asking her how her homeland was like. Uh, this is pretty much what I oh, picture. Yeah, okay. I well, love that. Yeah, I love that. Um, it be gr- it would be great if spoilers. It ended with a real Australian showing up and being like, "None of this is real," and you're <laughs> like, "What?" Funny. Like sort of like the end of Lord of the Flies. <laughs> like Lord was just like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would actually like to see them tackle like an urban setting. Like honestly, like don't be on a crazy island. Like let's see this happening. Like in like almost a division, but basically like do it in that weird Far Cry way of mm-hmm. like. It's like uh, I Am Legend or something like at the beginning. Or like where Tokyo Jungle. In, or Tokyo Jungle, exactly. Yeah. Where you're in like, not quite post-apocalyptic, like it's like very recently after people, but it's like you're still in this urban setting where you have to like find everything and maybe there is wildlife that's coming. Skin yeah. five uh, <laughs> car dealers to <laughs> make a bigger backpack. I think they should do like a Far Cry where you're in like this nice suburban area, but the zoo has just broken open. and So, so it's yeah. just, that's awesome. I was sort break. of thinking of that. I really yeah. like that a lot. Far Cry yeah. Zoo Break. So it's like modern day or even like 1990s America before cell phones. It's Jumanji. You're just yeah. describing Jumanji. It's just Jumanji. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Far Cry Jumanji would be That'd great. Be pretty good. Yeah. Ubisoft. Come on. Far Cry Jumanji. Yeah. Make that yeah. happen. Let's go to their office oh. right now. I, th- I was trying to think about it. We've always seen these kind of like these, there are these, these far off places. They're like, you know, Nepal or the Rook Islands or whatever. You know, it's uh, different parts of the world. Mm-hmm. I'd be kind of curious to see, like, what's a really weird part of America? And I was thinking, right. 1990s rural Florida. Yeah. Like, the Everglades. 1990s yeah. Everglades. And there's, like, a bunch of dudes who are like, those DA agents gone? Yeah. <laughs> We're running some meth <laughs> in my shoe. You'd have to take we you'd have to, fan boats. You'd have to take some creative liberties with the animals. Oh, totally. uh, because it's mostly just alligators or, uh, or not really or crocodiles. They actually or whatever. had a problem because people kept buying ball pythons, <laughs> I don't know the difference. but then they'd get big and they'd let them go. And so oh, really? And a, they ate dogs. Kind of a scourge of ball pythons yeah. fighting with alligators. And it's also place. racist. There's yeah. racist. There's Earth's probably deadliest animal. There's probably a bird. Yeah, there's definitely a bird. They have yeah. one, they have, I read it. There's, there's a sixty foot macaw. Very large bird. They call him Old Steve. Um, uh, so old this, Steve this kills game, a lot of people. Uh, Far Cry Primal got so close to exactly what I wanted this to become, but dinosaurs. Dude, Like, yeah. straight up. So yeah. there's an Easter egg. Uh, I don't think this is a spoiler, but somebody found uh, there's YouTube, a YouTube video of somebody found a cave in Far Cry Primal that you go into the back of it. But side note, the caves in this game are horrible. I get so <laughs> lost in them. Um, but there's, in the back of a cave, there's, I think, what people believe is the glowing purple neon skeleton of a blood dragon surrounded by eggs. That's awesome. It's just like a nice little Easter egg. Uh, or it's a dinosaur, you can't really tell, or it's just a crate dragon from Star Wars. Either of those things becoming sort of a reality, like in terms of totally DLC. Fun. If that's yeah. teasing like if that's teasing a blood dragon too that's caveman yeah. infused, like if the if the big DLC pack for this is, oh hey, 
it's a Blood Dragon sequel. Yeah. I'm and they just suddenly all the cavemen have like laser weaponry and you're yep. just like what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, like, no, no, I, I we are bet, the music makers, right? Do whatever you want. Especially with Assassin's Singing you're off, I would bet any amount of money that there's already some other Far Cry game in pre production. Yeah. Uh like I think that would be fun as like an expansion to this, but I hope the next one is as different as this is from four. Like yeah. I want I'm like, to I'm keep picturing it. like I one of you guys kinda of mentioned it, but like some like almost like a Jurassic Park ish premise, not necessarily dinosaurs, but with some like rich white dude who tried to build this like amusement park of the future in South America somewhere and of it just, just goes horribly awry. Of just like point fantastic. is that just a Bioshock game. Like, yeah, but, like yeah. weird thing. Well it has a bunch of animals. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just like guys who like to buy drugs from vending machines, yeah, and kill <laughs> no, men and steal like, their yeah, coconuts. It's just a crazy rich old man creates a theme park full of fantastic beasts that yeah. could be anything between like Candyland, yeah, Godzilla yeah. bad guys, like Mothra looking things, and, and you just could, go nuts. You could totally have the whole thing like sectioned off by God, like different that. environments. Like here's the desert part, yep. and then here's the water yep. part, and I like absolutely love that. And you're in the it. desert part, and you're fighting like gigantic salamanders yeah. with wings and stuff like yeah. that. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, just like take do like the um. The sort of uh, the trapper keepers sketchbook approach oh my God. Yeah. that we're seeing in uh, what's it called? Drawn to, uh, drawn yeah. to death. Yeah, drawn yeah. to death. I was just about to say, but of I, animals. You I know? was about to say the Lisa Frank, but I was almost going to say the Anne Frank approach. So don't do the Anne Frank no. approach, but no. do the Lisa Frank approach. Dude, if I would totally play a Lisa Frank Far Cry game where I mean, everything that's is beautiful. Kind of what Blood Dragon yeah, I was going to say, yeah. isn't that basically Blood yeah, Dragon? Yeah, it's more or less Blood Dragon. I would want something even, even happier than Far Cry Laser Mammoth. Yeah, like yeah. even happier and pinker, just rainbows everywhere. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, that's so awesome. Or like cute puppies. I want to see Everglades Far Cry, but then I realized we totally do have that Wildlands game, like that game. Yeah. I'm trying not to think about it too hard because it, it looks real cool. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be real good. So, we Zach, know so little about it, but it's like from what it seems that, that is, demo was awesome it is everything mm-hmm. open about Far Cry. It's all of the – it's none of the structure. Zach Ryan, who's been on the show a few times, one of the like producers here at IGN, awesome guy, um, was kind of on the fence about this game. He's like, I never really got into Far Cry. And we showed him a clip from a, a Let's Play that Max and I did where we were cautiously approaching a riverbank and a woolly mammoth walked up to the river and he stuck his like trunk in to drink and all of a sudden an alligator jumped out and grabbed his trunk and started dragging him into the water and they're just like ah! <laughs> screaming at each other and we're just off to the side like <gasps> and he was like this game looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it took. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, if you're on the fence about it, Far Cry Primal is a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I, I think we all recommend it. Uh, those of us who have played it.